Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moon Outdoors. We are back on the water. Today, we are going for whatever bites. Uh, I think most people are going for salmon today. But me personally, I don't really care. I actually have enough salmon at home in the freezer. So if I get a halibite, uh, they'll be awesome because I do not have too much a halibut in the freezer. And we can also go for I mean, rockfish and linkata as well. So there are many options out there, many options. Today we have a few buddies on the water. Of course, we got TLA, uh, we got my cousin Sam, we got Nando, and we got Andy outdoors, and uh, we got James on the water today. And we have many, many other kayak anglers on the water today. So it's gonna be a big crowd of kayakers. So Chobi was nice enough to uh, bring me some uh, brine sex herring. I got some of those uh, in case I wanted to uh, try for halibut uh, and maybe possibly ninkot. All right, let's get set up. Like always, I got my workhorse Shimano Trevola 7 foot medium light with the Pisiphone Alihos. Pretty much this com use this combo for everything up in Norcal. Affordable, uh, yeah, very durable, uh, and uh, pretty powerful reel for being hundred dollars. And uh, I'll be using uh, Brett's Super Bait Cup Plug again. I got my limit with using this last time, and uh, I also went out to Pacifica. I didn't get any keeper, but I got three uh, three shakers on this, so they definitely bite this. And uh, before Apex was my uh, favorite lure for salmon, now this is my favorite lure for salmon. So we're gonna be trolling around uh, with this guy for a little bit, and then see what happens. So trolling speed for salmon on a paddle kayak. Um, on my stealth, uh, it's gonna be pretty much the same as the short speed I go for on a Hobie kayak, Hobie Revolution. So it, it all depends on the, the direction of the tide. Um, if you're uh, paddling against the tide or with the tide, and of course, direction of the wind. But I generally like to stay between two and 2.5 miles per hour for shoaling salmon on a kayak. Focus, bro. Three hours later. So I just got the jack spell lively here. I'm gonna put it on the trap rig and send it okay. down. Gotta be getting serious man, I'm bringing out the live bait. Oh, there's something on. Something. I got something on the uh, jack smell. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Probably a uh, link hot. I don't know. No death row yet, no running. But it's got a little bit of weight to it. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a, it's a halibut. It's a halibut. Got 
Got him. Got him. Woo, on the jack smell. Look at that. Pretty good, decent size. Howley on the jack smell. I knew it. I knew it. Nice. <laughs> About 28. Yay. So we troll for about good three three hours and then nothing. There was a couple of fish caught but you know the bite wasn't really happening much so found the school of uh, jack smell, jig him up and then I sent him down on a trap rig, just like halibut rig, and uh, yep, got that guy. Now I don't have to eat salmon every week. Twenty-nine. Fish on. Oh yeah. I think it's Hallie. Uh, no death roll. So, I'm assuming it's a Hallie. I think so, no death roll. No, it's a Ling. It's a Ling car. Got him! Woo! <laughs> it was just his checking. I should have net it. It was just his checking. That's why there was no head shake. Be sure. Got it. Got it. I'm very nervous right now. It's some barbless hook. It's a fish. I don't know if it's Hallie. Probably a ling cot. Ah, uh, it's a tiny ling. Uh, it's a tiny ling. Dang it. So, I lost my uh, trap rig, so I'm using this. I'm using the uh, brass cup plug with the live jack smell on it. back on land and uh, I am very very happy that I got a halley today uh, nobody got skunk today my cousin got a ling uh, Nando got a nice ling and uh, Chovy got a little uh, halley 23 inch uh, but that halley was uh, gifted to my cousin so my cousin will be eating halibut sashimi today so he's very happy so after fishing having a pressurized uh, water is so awesome you got, you got the fish slime, you can rinse it off, you can rinse off your kayak, and uh, most importantly, you can rinse off your reel. So this particular one is water port. It's almost 3.85 gallons. I've used it a few times and uh, so far so good. Uh, I'll do a review video on this uh, this pump. 
So as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.